Um, Truffles here. Um, this is a special video for those of you with little puppies who like to nip and bite and carry on. There's a special way that you can hold them so that they learn not to do that. The trick is to sit with them facing forward the same way you're facing. Truffles is a little bit big for my lap right now and I don't have a crazy puppy so we're going to have to pretend with Truffies. If you're going to sit facing the TV or whatever you're facing, your hands are going to be like a stop policeman with a stop signal. One hand here, one hand on the other side. Your fingers are actually at the base of their neck, okay? With your hands placed like that, there is no way that she can turn her head and nip at your fingers because she can't reach them. It's totally hop down, there we go. It's totally impossible. If she was struggling back and forth, okay, and wiggling around, which she's not, but I'm pretending she is. I know it's crazy, good girl. But if she was doing that, I can hang on right here, hanging on to her shoulders, gently but firmly, so she can't flip over, she can't come up backwards, she can't get down, okay? She can't go anywhere, and basically, she can stay right there, okay? So that's how we hang on to puppies. When they get quiet, then we can pat them again and talk to them, and if they get crazy again, we go right back to this hold and go back to here till they settle down. And they learn, when I settle, they start to talk to me again, and they start to pat me again. If you can take long, deep breaths when you do this, it will also help your puppy to settle down. Thanks, Truffles.